Zipping through the hour two here. We're about to wrap it up. I do want to um, point out that I made quite the mistake yesterday. And um, in keeping with history, my team missed it. Um, because They correct my mistakes sometimes, but they miss them sometimes too, which is good for me. But make, you know, in the end, it's not journalistic integrity. Um, I was referring to the yesterday being National Ampersand Day. And um, I was talking about the ampersand being the little A inside the circle. Um, and that is not an ampersand. Um, and I didn't even drink yesterday because I've been having a little cold. Um, but the ampersand is the end sign, the little scoopy thing that looks like kind of that. Anyhow, um, we got that out of the way. Um, apparently, um, Donald Trump is... Uh, making an impact even here in New York that, uh, you know, my friends and local political figures, Nicole Maliotakis and the, the grand poobah of them all, uh, Senator Andrew Lanza stood beside the restaurant owners yesterday as they filed a lawsuit against Mayor de Blasio and Cuomo, okay? And I was there with a million other people, all the people from my raw, the Joey D's and Max and Ali, and everybody was there to support. And it looks like um, Trump's on board, too. Um, he tweeted out, New York City needs to be reopened, and slammed Cuomo and de Blasio, who, the restaurant owners here, Rob DeLuca, the people with some castanhas, they went and sued the mayor and the governor, not fearing ret retribution. And uh, here's what Trump tweeted about uh, that. New York City must stop the shutdown. The governor and mayor are destroying the place. Right on the money. And I think, if you ask me, that's in support of the uh, lawsuit. And uh, according to uh, Jess, we had, what you just said, some breaking news on the restaurants here in New York. What, what bring us up to speed on the breaking news, Jess? So starting September 30th, in Starting September 30th, indoor dining will be allowed in New York City restaurants at 25% capacity. Uh-huh. So uh, the lawsuit gets slapped down by James Mermingus, uh, Mark Fonte, Lou Gelomino. Everybody's there, a little rally in front of the courthouse. We're coming to get you, de Blasio and Cuomo. Senator Andrew Lanza said to me yesterday, I think in the next week there's going to be some movement, but he couldn't say it on the record. And uh, now Bill de Blasio, I guess, uh, a little scared when Staten Island restaurant owners start coming after him, and he should be, okay? Um, but do not let off the gas pedal with that lawsuit because this guy could change his mind in two weeks, and uh, they may be saying it's moot, but it's not going to be moot. Until you're open at 100%, it ain't moot, okay? Um, and Donald Trump Jr. goes off on, uh, on the, uh, the Hill website, um, just in, here's a tweet from The Hill. Trump supporters gathered without masks in North Carolina despite requests from local GOP officials. And um, you notice they're showing like a really long range picture, so you can't tell either way if there's uh, masks or not the masks. And Donald Trump Jr. said, WTF? Literally, all you have to do is zoom in the picture to realize everyone gathered in the stands is wearing a mask. I did it on my iPhone in two seconds. I guess journalists are not capable of basic observation. They just blindly run with the narrative. He's right on the money. He is. Um, I saw it. There were some people without masks. Most of the people had masks. And then, um, oddly enough, under all of the other crazy, you know, pandemic, uh, racial riots, streets are on fire, looting, rioting. BLM, blah, blah, blah. In the middle of all, all, all this maniacal stuff that's going on. Killer bees, now seeds are banned. Uh, there was an earthquake in New Jersey that shook houses. And died. Uh, who even knows? I said it to Zen Sam's a little earlier. It's like, I don't know if you ever saw the movie The Truman Show. It's like about this one guy's life who doesn't know he's in the middle of a reality show and everything around him is just like fake. It's like, um, who was that? Elena Servideo Schwinn was on last week and she was talking about, I was telling her how I have vivid dreams and I have actually written down things that five or six years later in my life happened. 
Uh, and she said, many people think that what the universe has happened already, and we're just remembering back what happened as we move forward. Um, and it is. It's like it, we're, we're living in bizarro land. But on top of it, Donald Trump ran on a few things. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Make our trade deals right. Would stop being taken advantage of by the rest of the world. Build that wall. Bring our soldiers back from foreign wars, okay? TPP, gone. Climate agreement, gone. Iran agreement, gone. U.S. MCA, in. Tariffs on China. Repatriation of money. All this great stuff is happening under Trump, okay? All of it is going down. And uh, he orders a drawdown of troops from both Iraq and Afghanistan. Now, let me remind you that the great President Barack Obama declared victory in Iraq in 2011, and we still have a boatload of troops over there. Um, but uh, yeah, breaking news, just yesterday, Trump orders thousands of troops home from Afghanistan and Iraq. So um, Joe Biden talks about why Trump wouldn't be going crazy about Russians putting bounties on American soldiers in Afghanistan. Um, crazy things happen in war. But what Trump's doing is one better than that. Let's bring all the soldiers back from Afghanistan. I don't care what happens there. Let's bring all the people back from Iraq. I don't care what happens there either. I care about us. He's keeping campaign promises.